All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, launch our first mission. And uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna utilize one of the, of the embedded missions in the Microsoft Space Simulator, which is the shuttle mission. And that's under missions here, under options, and there it is. And what that is, is basically um, get to uh, dock the shuttle to the uh, Space Station Freedom and then uh, landed uh, at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, in between, the launch and the orbit achievement is done entirely through computer control, and then the deorbit and re-entry procedure is also under computer control. So we will only uh, have to manually uh, dock and land. Both of these are actually fairly difficult, um, particularly the landing part, but uh, Let's hope I can get it done. So here we go. Go ahead and get started here. So there we are on the launch pad. And um, we should be taking off in a few seconds here. There we go. So time is accelerated here, four seconds per second. So in order to kind of get this going fairly quickly. The two smaller boosters are consuming the fuel here. And these are running right now. And uh, they're at maximum thrust. And they give about two Gs of acceleration or so. We're almost out of fuel and they'll be jet jettisoned in a few seconds. And here we go. And now we are relying primarily on the main engine thrust. Uh, fueled by the large external tank and that's the uh, fuel quantity that we have once this gets close to zero will be essentially in orbit or so and the acceleration will keep going up to about 4 g's prior to achieving orbit we're currently at 170 181 something um, kilometers above the earth Okay, here we are. We're gonna start the docking procedure. Okay, so here's the sta space station. Here's my shuttle. I'm gonna switch to chase view and I'm gonna go for a uh, absolute view by pressing B on the keyboard. Um, that way I have a fixed view in space uh, of the shuttle without having to worry about uh, my view moving with the shuttle and I do have a view from my shuttle directly to the station. The orange thing here and here that you see is the docking port we're interested in. We're drifting to the right, so let me go ahead and make some correction here. Um, everything is constantly in motion in space uh, with relation to other objects and um, it's important to make sure we're correcting uh, this as we go along. And here we reverse the thrust. Notice that I used my right thrust to move left, and that's simply because we are inverted here, as you can see. And so therefore, my attitude thrusters are also inverted for left and right. Let me go ahead and make a correction for orientation here. Makes it a little easier. And we're going to go ahead and start um, by getting closer to the docking port. So I'm going to use my... Uh, up thruster here and we'll go to about 120 radial or so that's good enough that's 115 meters per second towards the station that's our radial speed so that'll get us slowly but surely uh, towards the docking port you don't want to go too fast because you need to have time to correct for things and uh, as you should soon see things will go fairly quickly uh, uh, as we get closer. 
Okie dokie. So let's see if we can change our view a little bit here. Alright. Yeah, that's a better. Gives us an idea where we are. Okay, so the port is getting closer to center. The idea is to have this docking port as close to the center as possible. You do have some leeway if you're not exactly aligned, um, but not much. Okay, so we're getting close to center, so let's counteract um, forces here. Okay. Try to get to as close to zero as we can. There we are. So we should technically be staying put here in the center. And we're just going to go get as close as possible. You notice our tangential speed is 0 .01, 0 0.001. So practically nothing. And um, our speed towards the station is 0 0.082 meters per second. I'm going to go up a little bit more with that. You notice as we move our radial speed, our tangential speed increases a little bit. Okay. coming in really nice here well aligned and you notice me making some rapid changes with the attitude thrusters here the pine thrusters to kind of keep uh, all the axes aligned um, and it's a delicate balance uh, because you're trying to uh, make sure that um, all the forces are checked and the closer we get, the, the more uh, of a visible magnitude we'll see to my controls. I, be, I have to be very, very careful in how I do things. Looks like we're moving up a little bit here, so we're going to have to counteract that. Uh, let's see here. Again, small movements. No need to go fast. I'm going to move a little bit to the left here. centered a nudge Looking good so far. You have to keep 
there's a lot of visual cues here. Um, you really have to keep your eyes glued on on the panel to make sure you're not uh, missing out or slipping too much because it's hard to make large corrections when you're that close. Looking really good here. As Swigert would have said on Apollo 13, I've got this, guys. Yeah, well, looks good. We're not seeing, I'm not seeing too much drift here at all, actually. Um, we're coming up at 0.1 meters per second, and we're about 28 meters away, or about 8 meters. Yep, there we are. Maybe a little push up. And then a bit to the left. There we go. There we are. We have docked. Yay! And now here we go, we have undocked and things are going to go really fast from there. Um, we're going to go into a deorbit burn and then um, soon I'll be finding myself at uh, on final approach at Kennedy Space Center facing the landing strip. All right, here we go. So let's correct the drift a little bit. That's the one to drift to the left. Keep our pitch reasonable. All right, come back towards the center. Not quite, keep it a little bit off center to the right. That way it will correct not that much pitch here. You wanna keep your steep angle as best you can so you can flare. And we're getting there, okay. Air flare, gear down, and we should be touching down. Hopefully, shortly. Yep, there we are. There we are. The nose hasn't come down yet, so we're kind of drifting here. So I'm going to try to correct and stay on the runway. There we are, the nose is coming down now. All right, we are on the runway. There we go. There we are. Yay! It's not the perfect landing, but it does work for me. <laughs> okay, well, we made it, so we docked successfully and we landed. The shuttle successfully at the Kennedy Space Center. Not the perfect landing by any means, but hey, I'll take it. Um, this is really much tougher than than you think, and I have a huge amount of respect for those astronauts for landing this brick literally on the runway. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. We'll have to decide what our next adventure is going to be like. Thanks for watching.